These are some incredible tropical butterflies, and they can be found in huge numbers in countries like Colombia, Brazil, and Thailand. But the ones you might be more familiar with in the UK are facing some really big problems. This is one you might have seen in your back garden. It's the small tortoise shell. Recent figures from a scheme that tracks UK butterfly populations have found that there are currently less of them than ever before. That being said, other species are doing quite well. Recent figures show that the checkered skipper, brimstone and large blue are at record highs. I'm here at this gorgeous tropical butterfly farm with some local school kids and we're going to learn some more about the species. Let's go! Lovely. So welcome to the flight area. I'm sure the first thing you notice is that heat. <laughs> On that head, you've got two things sticking out the top. Does anyone know what they're called? Antennae. Antennae. Very good. So you can see just how small their life starts out. Lovely guys, right, follow me and we'll head back into our flight area. Good job, everyone. Butterfly Conservation UK is the country's leading authority on our winged friends, and they lead much of the research that tracks butterfly populations around the UK. I had a chat with Emma Dakin. She's their youth engagement officer. Emma, can you explain to me what's happening with UK butterflies? Butterflies, they, they fluctuate in numbers really naturally year on year, mostly due to weather, but it's these long-term changes that we're seeing, these long-term declines that we really need to be worried about, and that is largely due to human sort of impact. So species that can cope in lots of different habitats, those species are tend to be doing well at the minute, whereas those more specialised species that need everything to be just right are finding it a bit more tricky. What can we do to help? There's so many things we can do, um, but we need to ultimately create more space for butterflies and moths, okay. and that can be a small plant pot, or um, a window box, you know, in London or an urban environment, all the way to a community garden or a school grounds. But actually, one of the most valuable things to do is do nothing, let that grass grow. Wow, well I know that I've definitely learnt a lot, but what about the kids? My favourite thing today was probably learning about the butterfly life cycle. Butterflies have four wings. My favourite thing that I learned was about the caterpillars. They are toxic because of the plants they eat. Bye, news rounds! 